When babies are born, it's usually followed by a lot of laughter and excitement. But in this story, you are about to see that this baby's arrival was greeted with terror and threats. There was something just right at the back of her head, and it left the doctors in extreme shock. When Mark and Kaylin learned they were pregnant, they thought about all the beautiful and not-so-pleasant things that could happen. But what eventually took place never crossed their minds, even for a second. In the first few weeks of pregnancy, it was all love, laughter, and giggles. But somewhere in Kaylin's belly was something that would steal his family's happiness. During the 18th week of the pregnancy, Mark and Kaylin went to the hospital for a gender reveal. Once there, the technician performed a scan and revealed they were having a girl. But before they even had the chance to celebrate, he asked them to meet with a doctor immediately. This request made the couple so scared that they were afraid of their shadows. When they got to the doctor's office, he wasted no time in telling them something was wrong with their girl. The nervous couple quickly imagined plausible scenarios, but none of them came close to the unsettling truth they were about to learn. The doctor diagnosed the girl with encephalocele, a defect where the skull doesn't close completely during fetal development. As a result, 20% of the unborn baby's brain tissue grew out of her skull in a sac surrounded by fluid. But this couple didn't even know the severity of the case until the doctors explained what it entailed. He told the couple most kids with the disease do not make it past the first trimester. At this point, Kaylin couldn't hold back her tears anymore, and she let it all out. I was enraged. I was just enraged with God, Kaylee admitted. She couldn't understand why this had to happen to her. She wasn't sure she could survive this trial life had thrown at her. But while she was at her lowest ebb, and it seemed like she was sinking deeper with every passing minute, Mark was optimistic. After they left the hospital, Mark researched the disease his daughter had been diagnosed with, but the results were disappointing. Yet he remained in high spirits and continued searching. His curiosity soon led him to a support group on Facebook. There he learned a high number of children had survived the same condition. However, they were cognitively delayed. Most of them couldn't walk, yet they were alive. And as for Mark and his wife, the fact that those kids were alive was everything they needed to hear. Soon enough, the doctors advised they terminate the pregnancy. But this couple was determined to see the end of the road. How could they give up on their child when there were chances he could survive? We just wanted to do our best and leave the rest to God, Mark explained. With this decision, Kaylin joined forces with her husband and both fought tooth and nail. They kept hope alive even though they didn't know where it was leading them. In fact, they even held an elaborate baby shower. They also painted a room for the girl and could only hope she would sleep in it someday. As the delivery day drew near, Kaylin's doctor suggested a C-section. Although she had intended to deliver the baby naturally, they deemed a C-section the best way out. So Kaylin and Mark prepared for one. But as they approached the 40th week, fears and doubts crept in and it was a lot harder on Kaylin. She was worried about the baby's health. She didn't know if the situation would be more complicated than the scan had revealed. But what had hurt even more was she knew they would separate her from her baby immediately after birth. And that thought hurt more than any physical pain she had ever felt. During the 38th week, Kaylin went into labor and was rushed in for an emergency C-section. There she delivered her girl, Lincoln, who was transported to the NICU immediately as she was in a critical condition. After a few hours, Kaylin and Mark were allowed to see Lincoln in the NICU. What they saw reduced them to tears. They had never seen a child look so beautiful and peaceful, and it hurt them so much that her survival hung in the balance. Later, a neurosurgeon suggested Lincoln underwent an MRI to better comprehend the severity of her condition. After the scan, the doctors confirmed there was no other way out than having surgery. Little did the couple know what this truly entailed until the doctors explained. You see, although surgery was the only thing that could save her, it could also take her life right on the spot. She could die from a lot of blood loss, the doctor explained. As he sat describing everything to us, I sobbed uncontrollably. I couldn't comprehend what he was saying. The only thing I could hear was the news that my kid was about to die, Kaylin said. Giving up, the doctor suggested they take their daughter home, place her in hospice care, and spend as much time as they could since she had little time left. Now that the doctors had lost hope, Kaylin and Mark's faith also wobbled. There was no need to continue believing she would make it. Or was there? Taking the doctor's advice, the bittered couple took little Lincoln home and placed her in hospice care. 
The next day, medical staff put everything in place and they visited the house daily to attend to her. But all their help did no good. The only way out was to have surgery. This period was the most challenging phase of their life. Each day, they watched their daughter suffer silently. Everyone prayed. Friends, family, grandparents wished for a miracle. But things didn't go this way. By the time Lincoln turned four weeks old, the protrusion at the back of her head had enlarged. By then, friends and family advised the couple to seek advice elsewhere. It was during this dreadful period that Kaylin received a text on Facebook. She thought it was just someone who wanted to leave some kind words, but what the woman sent next struck a chord. It was exactly what Lincoln desperately needed. Kaylin had opened a Facebook page to update people about her daughter's condition. The woman who messaged also followed the page, but there was more to her story. She understood Kaylin's pain because her daughter once had encephalocele, so she reached out to her and was kind enough to give the phone contact of the doctor at Boston's Children's Hospital, who had helped her daughter too. With this new link, everyone believed there was a light waiting for them at the end of the tunnel. After reviewing Lincoln's scan and medical history, the doctors at Boston Children's Hospital were optimistic the surgery would be positive. When Lincoln turned seven weeks, she was set for her surgery. While the operation was ongoing, her parents waited outside. The whole time, this sad couple was on pins and needles. Although the doctors had assured them the surgery would be a success, they lost their faith. Although the surgery was scheduled to last three hours, Kayla and Mark felt like they had been waiting for over three decades. It was that frightening. After what felt like a lifetime, Kayla and Mark saw the door open and their hearts sank. They grabbed each other's hands as the surgeon walked out of the room. But the doctor had a different expression than what they were expecting. On his face was a big smile. He beamed as he had just given a little girl a second chance at life. It was a success, the surgeon said as he approached them. Well, you know what followed that? Screams, joyful tears, laughter, and a sense of peace they hadn't experienced in the past few months. After the surgery, the doctors explained that the girl's cerebral and brainstem were in good health. However, the sensory portion of her brain was impaired, so they couldn't tell for sure if she was capable of feeling. Although she was doing fine, the doctors explained she could have cognitive delays or balance concerns in the future. Her parents' reaction? Well, joy. They didn't even flinch. Nothing could tear them down at this point. It was like they had gone through hell and back, and they were just happy their daughter was now safe. As for little Lincoln, the little girl soon blew everyone's mind. By the time she turned three months, the unexpected happened. She recovered rapidly, and she even moved several body parts she hadn't been able to before. This little girl now cries, smiles, and laughs like every other child. She has even graduated from hospice care, and her family is now taking her health one step at a time. At the moment, Lincoln is a sweet girl who is eager to walk. She is the best sister in the world to her brother, Lucas, and in her parents' eyes, the cutest little thing who defied the odds and gave them a chance to be happy parents once again. Although doctors think Lincoln could experience some developmental delays in the future, she is doing just fine. One, she defied the odds, and I wouldn't be surprised if she does it again. Her fabulous parents are also ready for whatever comes next, and they are keeping the faith. I can only wish them all their heart's desires. Most times, people tell us we can't do certain things, but our thoughts reflect our actions, and we can do anything we set our hearts to. How do you handle a situation where someone told you to give up?